Welcome back to Hunter Call the Wild with Lady Legend. If you have never shot a diamond before, stick around. This video was made just for you. Today we're going to look at everything you need to know to hunt ducks and show you how to hopefully harvest that very first diamond duck. So let's get started. So the best tip I can give you for hunting ducks is to make sure that you spot every single duck on the lake. And if you're unable to spot them with your binoculars because they're too far away, use your rifle to spot them if you have the appropriate skill or perk. And if you don't, that is something that you want to get in the future. Now here I am using my rifle to spot everything. If you miss one, you just might miss that level three that you're looking for. Now, if you happen to spook a duck, and it is going to happen, the first thing you want to do is lay prone, set your rifle to 150 meters for zeroing. We're using the 22 rifle here, by the way, and you want to lead the duck. You want to shoot ahead so that it flies into your shot, and that's what I've done just here. And your duck's going to fall, and you don't need to do anything. Just stay put, and it will float right to you. So this is a level 2 gold, 4.2. And it's a 420. A lot of people are gonna like that. <laughs> 4.6 trophy is diamond. So not a bad duck. So here we are in Yukon. I am at one of my favorite lakes and I am gonna show you maps with hot spots for all the different kinds of ducks later in the video. And the first thing that I do is once I spot my level three duck or whichever duck I am planning to shoot, I mark it with a waypoint and I actually do this more than once, I keep doing it because ducks tend to float around. They don't stay in the same spot. And even moving five or 10 meters will mess up your shot. So you wanna have zero ring for your rifles. And this is gonna make you extremely accurate. It is very important, especially for duck hunting. So uh, what I do is I make sure I get to either 150 meters, 100 or 50 meters from the duck so that I set my zeroing to however far I am away from them and I always recheck my waypoint and so that I can adjust where I am when I take my shot. Now this is my very first diamond after resetting my account and I actually got this guy at level 17. So it is never too soon to start diamond hunting. You know, try to be aware, try to check for those level 3 ducks at every lake that you find or every piece of water so these are the two hot spots i mean you can find harlequins pretty much at any piece of water on the map but these two spots have been really hot for me especially the yellow star and that's where i just shot that diamond harlequin you just saw so here we are in parquet fernando and in my opinion the cinnamon teal is probably the most common diamond duck out of all the three of them and honestly, if someone said, I'll give you a hundred bucks to find a diamond in the next hour, I would head to Parque Fernando and I would jump from lake to lake and spot all the ducks. And there's a very good chance that I would find a level three cinnamon teal that would score diamond. Now, being a level three duck does not guarantee you a diamond. It can troll you, but I have only ever been trolled once by a duck. <laughs> and I've been trolled by many, many animals, but ducks do not troll very often. They can, but there's a good chance that your level three will make diamond. So they like to swim around, so you just wanna be patient. I tend to just crouch when I take my shot on ducks. And the reason I don't go prone is my fear is that my shot will ricochet off the ground if the ground is not flat and that will spook my duck. Now, before you go out looking for that level three potential diamond duck, I do highly recommend that you go out and shoot a lot of ducks and get a lot of practice in so that when you do find it, <laughs> you'll take a good shot on it. So these are my favorite spots for finding diamond cinnamon teals. I tend to find them very often in these spots. Again, they can be anywhere on any piece of water on the map, including the right coastline, but those have been good spots for me. So this actually took place last night. I was on a random multiplayer server and my favorite spot for diamond mallards is the lake right on Renaki, the bottom left hand corner lake. There are always just a pile of ducks there as you can see here and I usually take my shot from 150 meters and I'm usually okay to crouch all the way to 150 unless there is 
grass or terrain on the ground that is going to cause me to make more noise. And if there is, then I will go prone and crawl all the way to 150 meters. But here I actually had to get to 50 meters and I'm glad I did because it's giving a clearer view of the ducks. And the problem with getting to 50 meters is there is a much better chance of spooking your ducks. So you do have to be very careful and I would act quickly. So I wanted to mention that the 22 semi-automatic rifle comes in weapon pack one and it comes with the recurve bow and the crossbow. And we also have weapon pack three, which includes the big bore air rifle, the 30 odd six bolt action rifle and the 22 semi-automatic pistol. Both are great options. So here we have a diamond mallard. He is going to score 20 for tro trophy rating. He weighs 2.01 kgs and we got him from just 39.01 meters. So here is a map of my favorite spots to hunt for diamond mallards. And specifically my favorite two spots are the two lakes in the bottom left hand corner. The lake off of Renaki outpost is my absolute favorite and that's where we just shot that mallard last night. But I wanted to mention that the lakes that I have circled on the right hand side they ha can be very good and I've often found diamond mallards on there. So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button and I hope to see y'all soon. Take care.